What's up, gang? Nathan back with our monotype live. I was I'm done molding from the last live. I've got it all out of my system. Took a day break to come back here and try to redeem myself. I got a more appropriate bucket hat on last time. Still don't have the full uh, bug trainer garb, but hopefully I can redeem myself against this very odd mono flying looking team. I think if we're ever gonna pull it a win against mono flying, this is probably the one. Um, you also see two fairy types there. It's gonna be really nice for a scissor who's already got a great matchup. Cramorant, I refuse to understand. I refuse to learn how Galt Missile works. It scares me and it threatens me. So I will not be dealing with that today. I think as far as leads go, I like Buzzsoul right now and we get an excellent lead matchup. The question is, do I go for the guaranteed damage with Ice Punch or do I try to get the kill with Stone Edge? Let's, we're gonna hit it today. Yeah, we missed it last time, we missed yesterday, but now we're back in it. Let's just get a 6-0 sweep right now for revenge sake. The, the redemption tour. This is the redemption tour we've all needed for mono bug here. I'm not swapping out. I don't care, we're killing everyone. Oh shit, that's evil late as hell. Uh, are we still fast? We should be. Redemption tour, baby, 6-0, yes, yes. This Buzz Soul is so strong right now. We should see Togekiss, in which case the question is do we have a Scizor and risk a flamethrower? Or do we try to get the matchup against, oh, Cramorant, huh? I don't think it carries an air move besides Air Slash. It runs Surf, obviously. Already paralyzed. I'm risking losing the 6-0, but Swan's not too important otherwise. They do go for Brave Bird. They lose almost half their health, so fine by me. Uh, and then we'll try to clean it up here with Galvantula. Hopefully we, we stay hidden. Uh, we are outsped by Crobat going forward and Ninjas. Their team is fast as hell. We get the very rare Thunder Mist. That sucks. So we're going to lose this Mon now. That's really annoying for us, but oh well. They say that was lucky. <laughs> yeah, it was, but oh well. Galt Missile is going to be the trade there. I still think we're in a good position because Scizor is looking disgusting right now. Um, but I'll keep it in the wings as I go to Arachnid right now. In comes Crobat. I think we'll see another Brave Bird, but again, I don't really know. Actually, I could keep it for Togekiss. So I'll go to Armaldo uh, on the Poison Fang of all things. Interesting. They do get us there. I'll go for my Stab, Stone Edge. Again, I think this team's actually pretty well equipped like, for most uh, mono flying teams. I, I, I was really uncertain about the Armaldo. It's a PU Pokemon after all, but I gotta admit, I, I, I quite enjoy it. It's always putting in some work. Rapid Spin hasn't done too much for us lately, but it's a nice comfort to have. Like our team's pretty good against rocks, for being honest. It's not a big deal, but I still enjoy it. Um, maybe I'll throw Stealth Rocks in here instead. Let me know in the comments if you think you'd be running Stealth Rocks instead. That's a that's an interesting question for sure. And then we see Ninjask here, but we don't miss. We hit this every time. If you try to Swords Dance on us, then we will get digged upon. Okay, fair enough. You know what? Yeah, you can die on Waldo. You did your job. <coughs> there we go. And that's got to be a... Scizor for me here. I'll bullet punch. If they dig, then I can just roost afterwards. Acrobatics does a decent amount. I wonder what their item is, because that would have killed otherwise, which is insane. Unless they spawned with no item, which I guess would have made sense. And then that's great. We can get some good damage to Togekiss. If we don't kill, then I think that's easily enough for Araquanid to make up for. Um, yeah. They could be Scarf and I guess flinches to the loss, which would just be... <laughs> The perfect way to lose a revenge tour. <laughs> oh well, oh well. I'm still stunned that Tokus ate the hell out of that Stone Edge. Uh, okay, get the soft boiled here. And yeah, okay, I was wondering if I should Toxic here or something, but I don't have it. Don't need it as we get that off. We don't get flinched. That's amazing. They weren't scarfed though, so Volcarno would be able to clean it up regardless. So we, we start off with a win against Mono Flying. It was a scuffed Mono Flying. I'm sorry whoever that was, but we'll take it. And we can get maybe revenge against Mono Bug too, who also cleaned her clocks yesterday. I love it. So let's go for this. Is there anything I do can prevent Shuckle from doing their stuff? From their stuff. Bug brother. Um, I think not. I'll probably just go for my rack winded. If we get a mirror matchup, I can go for webs. If we get this. Actually, do I go for a magic coat? Yeah, why not? This is why we threw it on. May the best bug win. Indeed. That goes up. Um, I'll liquidate. I don't really care if they get webs up on me. Then I'll try to get their rocks here too. Oh, they got me. Well done. Do it again. They're not going to kill me. 
Nice. So we get rocks up and they don't. That's actually a really big swing for us. Plus we have a spinner and they don't. Um, so there's a chance we keep both of these up. That's a really big advantage. However, they have a little bit more offense with their Durant and probably a less defensive Araquina than ours. They go to Volcarona, which is stunning to me. So I'll liquidate here. They realize their mistake, go to Araquina. They aren't boots. So maybe they're Assault Vest like the one we saw yesterday or maybe something else. We'll actually get the kill. Amazing for us. This is The Redemption Tour is off to a, a, a booming start right now. Let's go. We're back in it, gang. Income Scizor, we eat this up, brother. What do you got? Knockoff? It better be. Oh no, the, the feared dual wing beat is back. It's back and scarier than ever. Um, let's go for our Volcarona. Flamethrower will not be setting up against this guy. I learned my lesson. He has a running dual wing beat nowadays. Where's the world come to? And then I'll go to our Maldo here in Stone Age. We gotta hit though. We gotta gotta hit. They go for a fiery dance, which just almost kills. Beautiful. Oh my god. I couldn't have drawn it up any better. I'll knock off. I'll rapid spin if I get it through. Nice. <clears throat> this looks like a defensive set then. Oh, that's terrifying. And they get two attack bonuses. That's really cool, actually. Uh, and then Volcorn is just going to take us home. So GG here to our guy. Uh, glad we could have the redemption tour against the two types that destroyed us last time. The best bug won. Nice to see. And uh, yeah, we're not building like last time, so we can just get them quick and fast here. I want like, I want some water actually. I think we have a good matchup versus water, if I'm being honest, because against rain, we have this agility Galvantula, which is again, really only one Mon, because the rest of our team kind of gets murked. And against slower rain, uh, like a stally sort of rain, which is still very good. It sounds worse than, uh, than, than pure offense rain. But against slower water stall, Volcorona is incredible. But against Fairy here, which is technically a disadvantage matchup because Fairy is a resist to bug. But again, we really only have one or two forms of stab. Really only the one, which is kind of crazy. I don't know if any monotype runs less stab than mono bug. Let me know in the comments if there's anything else because very few mons, even if we did have bug buzz here and you know leech life here, it runs so little stab. Uh, scissors, of course, going to be pivotal here. I'm going to go for an Araquanid right now, I believe. We should see you as a lead. Again, I, I like this Araquanid set we got going right now because it's kind of an anti-lead. Lead. lead. <laughs> I'll go for Magic Coat here as they go for a Thunder Wave. Yeah, you can hold that, buddy. And then maybe go for a Spike right now. Uh, okay, fair enough. I'll go for Webs if that's the case. If they Thunder Wave me on this turn, I'm fine with it ultimately. They had a reen, good play. Um, let's go for a, I wonder if they calm mind. I believe they will. Look at 32 here, defense drop is awesome. Um, do I mirror coat here or do I go for another liquidation? I'll do, it'll be, it won't kill, but it'll be very close. Yeah, why not? I don't have a good swap in otherwise. Let's do it. Oh, terrible mistake in my opinion. Um, very, very cocky. And actually, they don't have a Tapu Lele, so our, our uh, scissors looking fantastic. They're just going to call it right there. I don't know why you stayed in and expect that. I mean, I guess they just thought it would go to Scizor or something. We get another fairy right here. Still no Tapu Lele, though, so Scizor's looking quite promising. Let's just rinse and repeat. You know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Um, I, I, I got to say, though, I, I really like this magic coat thing on a rack. I was, I was pretty attached to Toxic before, and I wasn't sure if I would like it. But again, just as a bit of an anti-lead sort of deal, whether it's trading that Thunder Wave right there, not so bad. Whether it's, you know, just acting as some sort of disincentivization for Stealth Rocks, not so bad. I'm kind of about it. Um, in terms of big threats though, if that uh, if that Azumarill gets Belly Drum up, I may actually want to keep this Arachnid healthy for that very reason, for being honest. Although no, Knockoff is going to kill us if that's the case. So we want to get up. The goal might in this game to be get up webs so that Araquanid can outspeed uh, Azumarill, which it should, yeah. Um, get up webs and then keep it healthy. So if it ever belly dances, belly dances. <laughs> Azumarill, <laughs> belly dancing on him. If they ever belly drum, then we have a, a, an adequate response. Um, that might be the play. Uh, because I think we don't really have much else otherwise. Uh, if they're low, of course, we can bullet punch with our scissor and outspeed them after webs. Uh, 
but still, I, if this is a calm mind playable, I'm a little bit spooked too. We'll have to keep you healthy for that reason as well. Uh, Cosmic Power would actually destroy my whole team if that was the case. And Coco, yeah, Coco, Mono Electric, I think is actually, it's a, it's a tough matchup for us too. So I, I think I definitely want webs up pretty early. And then there's a chance that my Buzz Swole can go off, but it's not using Stab if it's going for a Scarf Sweep, so it's not great. My opponent doesn't seem to be here, so I'm gonna shut up and edit around this. If they come back, I'll see you in a couple seconds. If they don't, I'll see you in 90 seconds. There they are. All right, I got some water in me. You guys have to watch another 40 seconds of messing around. Um, are you gonna go for rocks this is the biggest question in the world. They're leading it? What, what's their ELO? It's kind of low, I'm gonna guess they are. These, ooh, that's really bad for us. <laughs> that's awful. Uh, okay, they're probably uh, unaware if I was a betting man. Uh, Galvage is pretty good in this matchup. I don't think I'll go to that yet. I'll go to Armaldo right now. It's really not what I expected. Is that like a... I don't think it's Life Orb. Let's knock off and find out. Honestly, it's not going to do much, but it's going to reduce its utility, obviously. We see Klefki instead. That's actually not bad for us as far as matchups go because I can spin away these spikes they might be going for. Great. Um, do they go for another spike here? If they spike, if they if they go for a screen, I want a rapid spin. If they go for a spike, then I want an earthquake. We'll see. Oh, we'll probably see our Azumarill afterwards. Ugh. What do I do about that? I don't know what I do about that. A Thunder Wave, interestingly. I don't think this is a mon that I would care to have paralyzed, but what do I know? Probably try to keep up one spike here. They lost light clay too, so not a huge benefit in keeping it up. And losing light clay, if they don't go for a screen, that'd be great because that would give us a somewhat better answer for tap for Azumarill rather. Here comes the Bulu. Uh, our Azumarill and our Scizor and our Volcarone are pretty great answers. I'm just worried about a, a Stone Edge read here. So I think I'll go for a Scizor here as a Horn Leech. Okay, no concerns needed. They don't really have an answer to Bullet Punch right now, right? So I, I want to. You know, get smart with it and go for a knockoff. But best case scenario, they're going to tap a Fini taking like 30 some percent. Or they use up a Beery Berry. And the close combat crit me. Oh, I don't know if I'm faster. I'm probably not. That's really annoying. Um This next one will kill at least. Good Klefki on the sack. Interesting. We get a bit of grassy terrain heal. In comes Tapu Coco with a Interesting. They're neutral to this move. They're and I listed them as a pretty big threat, actually. Um, there's a chance our Maldo might be able to do it, actually, if it comes in clean and get a kill with Earthquake. Even then there's a chance of paralysis there, right? So I just lose my most valuable mon and go for a bullet punch right now, get the damage I need. Then I can even go to Buzz Soul as a revenge kill, actually. Yeah, I mean I don't know. The only bonds I'll be able to recover on are Azumarill. Doubt that's happening. Fable, if they're running Thunderbolt, who knows? So it's it's a costly choice there, but we'll go for that there. Earthquake should do it. Question is if they actually go to Tapabulu. I could definitely read and go for something else, but I'll probably go to uh, Volcaron if they do that. In comes Clefable here. Fine. I'll go to Galvantula as long as Electric Terrain's up. A Flamethrower there. So yeah, it's just sort of truly didn't have a chance to recover there. Shitty for me. Uh, we'll get the kill. Not quite. What a tanky mon. I'm having a hard time here. I guess it's technically a disadvantaged matchup, but I consider it a bit more even, honestly. This may be my best chance to... I'm worried I'm worried they're, they're unaware. In which case, boosting with Volcarona is a pretty bad beat. Oh, boy. This is this is tough. I don't know what to do. If I go to Buzzswool, there's a chance this thing stays alive. I'm just go to Tapabulu again. Or Maldo is probably going to get pulled paired and not get it off. I think it's going to do you and Psychic. Just in case you go to a water type. It'll still kill. Um, yeah, we get that off. Oh, this is dicey, dicey, dicey. If they go to Tapu Bulu, it means a rock was definitely incoming. In comes a Zoomeril. I got a Hope Rack when it can do it, but it doesn't have a web zap. Actually, that was a mistake. Okay, so that happens. I, I think I kind of lose this thing, honestly. Oh, they could swap out, interestingly. Maybe it's banded. No, that's interesting. Maybe it's banded. Uh, Thunderbolt incoming. If it's banded, 
I think I got this guy go. Puzzle's looking so interesting, but just these two on the left are terrifying to me. Um, I think I got an Earthquake, Forces in Bulu, and then I can go to Volcarona. But a Banded Aqua Jet can just wipe me out. So I need Buzzwool just for Azumarill, actually. That's, that's probably over. If my only answer to Azumarill is Buzzwool, that's not a real answer. Uh, we got to do this. You can get a huge hit off otherwise. And then I will... Go for a big Ice Punch read, honestly. No, it was quick. What the hell? They've kind of shown themselves to be stay -inners. Um, I think the Redemption Tour is going to hit a snag right here. We got like four wins in ten minutes, but... I think we'll I think we'll hit a bit of a snag here. I want Ice Punch. That's a really good shot of winning the game. Um, but I'm too scared right now. I'm way too scared. I think the, the Feeny might be Scarfed, honestly. Which we should not be outsped by. They do go to Bolu. Saki for us. I wonder if they'll go for a pretty obvious Stone Edge read right here. I wouldn't blame them at all. But I would do, honestly. No chance of staying in. I revealed myself to be Scarf the way I confidently came in against the Coco. Um, you know I'm swapping. And if, I, if it goes to Armaldo, then you have a good answer. They do this instead. It's funny. I, I feel like I'd almost get away with Giga Drain. I, there's no way I live uh, banded. Aqua Jet? Yeah, okay. That's the thing, I could have. I really could have. I should actually take a second and calc how much I did against the Araquanid and make sure that, because if it's not banded, I could be able to win right now. Get it all back with a Giga Drain. Um, against my Araquanid, it did, yeah. Okay, so it's definitely banded. Not the best news. There's not really any answer then. I'll try to see if Buzzwool can take a couple. Okay, it takes not too much. Manageable. And now I'm stuck with Earthquake and Grixy Terrain. <laughs> Ice Punching or Close, I got a Stone Edge. That actually hits everything neutrally. If they go to Coco and Sack, the Feeny here, interesting. Please hit. Oh no, it's leftovers. Uh, please click a fairy move. I'm just playing for misplays at this point. I'm, I, it's what I'm doing. Armaldo's just a sack at this point. Don't misplay it. I'll Giga Drain and hopefully get myself over 54% before I Psychic. Or I could Quiver Dance. I guess that's the play. The Coco. Look at Azumarill afterwards. I'm gonna assume they Aqua Jet again. They play rough though, good on them. Even a Waterfall. Nope, okay, we get that off. Uh, let's hope for a... I just don't know what I'm gonna do with this Azumarill, like no matter what I do. Uh, I'll Ice Punch here, nice. There's probably just a, a lost cause here. Uh, what are you again? What did they do last time I did this? They went to Coco. I'll Quiver Dance here. I think they stay in. We should live this. Barely. I don't think this Quiver Dance, this Giga Drain kills though. Let's go to Bulu, interestingly. If we get a 2 KO here, that'd be really nice. Okay, that's really nice actually. Now we can't take another Scald. Um, It's funny, I, I, if they, I wonder if the players look for them to misplay the Aqua Jet, look for them to go for a play rough and win off a Giga Drain here. Because if I swap out, like I wonder, I wonder if like looking for the misplay is my only path to a win. If I swap out to Armaldo, you die. If I swap out to Buzzwool, we barely live. Can I go for like a Stone Edge crit? I, I, think, I think the only way I win is if they misplay this. Had the win. Oh, they had the bag. I literally just popping off. I hit my head against my water bottle. Tonight we'll see oh my, I almost brained myself popping off. <laughs> I'm dying. I'm, I am dying. <laughs> the redemption tour. 
The Redemption Tour! Oh my god, what is Dead May Never Die, baby? <laughs> oh, we're against the, the Dragon Bot here. Um, hopefully I can comport myself better than last time. We're gonna calm down. Oh my god. Um, I think they lead either one of these two here. Um, it's the bot. The Scarf you or the... I think the Poison Sludge this guy. I think either I'm okay with Araquanid. Um, I'm also okay with uh, Buzzwool against either. That's interesting. Oh, I don't think I could kill you. Sorry, I'm gonna calc again really quick. Yeah, we can't kill it. Okay, so... If that's because I think it's Araquanid here. You get the Dragal. I think I'll... They could Toxic. I love a Miracle here, though. Do it. Nice. Do we get the kill? Oh my god, yes. Regazolt's in... Misery. Um, someone's gonna die. It boils down to... Uh, Alvantula's doing little for me, although... Bug Buzz against High Dragon's interesting. Uh, I'll do Galvantula, what the hell. Then I go to you, and I did predict the Earthquake. Will the bot predict an Earthquake? Oh, okay, but we'll, we'll live this easily with their defense and the merit of us attacking second. Swap out the Curum. Put a Scizor, pretty universal Curum answer here. Go Meteor. Oh, that's nasty. I think we got a Bullet Punch. They got a Garchomp. Good play on the bot. Uh, we got a Buzz Swole as they Outrage. We're outsped. I think I need this guy to win. I don't remember if in this set it's a Dragapult Scarf or not. I should really know that. I played it on this thing enough times. Um, and, and I think I need a Rackman to get up webs again. I think Armaldo's gotta go. They're confused. So we'll knock off here. Oh, we got a shot of this one, gang. The, the Redemption Tour continues. They lose their Scarf, which is really nice anyways. So we're, we're a fan of that. Nice. Armaldo is going to die here. So now what's the play? We've got a Buzzsaw and Earthquake. But that sends in Hydreigon, I believe. We can Ice Punch. Sends in Curum. We sack the Scizor. And then I go for a... Magic Coat. Or even go to he Volcarona. Yeah, okay, I'll see that. I S Punch. They're Dragapult, interesting. I'm gonna bet on them not being. Sc oh my god, freeze. I want to make a video about this move, man. <laughs> and it's just guiltless because it's a bot. I don't care. It's a bot. Don't matter to me. I think I actually go for this one. We have a chance to kill. Not really. Look dumb. <laughs> But we can get this off. Go for the webs so we don't lose to you. And this 25. I'll just uh, mirror coat that for the kill. In comes Drago Zolt. Oh my god, gang. You can't you can't make this up. And uh hopefully Sizzle or well, actually Vulcan is not got a good set for this. We just uh Oh, we can't get the punch, like, because we're faster. For this, the Draco Meteor, Flamethrower gives us the win. Very well played. I don't think we have a loss yet. The Redemption Tour is booming. It's it's doing so well that I almost brained myself on my water bottle. You'll love to see it. Ooh, okay, steal. Redemption. Redemption Tour, baby. So, Heat Ran's big, because Volcarona wins after Heat Ran dies. That's pretty massive for us. Armaldo and Araquanid are our major counters to that Pokemon. I think we'll see you as a lead, potentially you. It's been pretty lazy, but I'm gonna go Araquanid just because if I see a certain lead, I really like it for us. Uh, we actually get Mel Metal here, so I can't go to Scizor if I want to. I don't think you kill me if I'm a water type. I still have 340 uh, HP. Oh, that is so much. That's not good. Not good at all. Uh, okay, well, if that's the case, I don't think I want to liquidate. I think I'll go to... I think I need... Our, I, I want to go to Armaldo right now, but I really shouldn't. I could switch to uh, another move. Let's go to Buzzswool here. Double Iron Bash has a million damage, so really poor start for us right now. I don't think they're Air Balloon. The Aegislash is worth noting. I want to double switch to Scizor. 
on the Aegis Slash. I'm gonna Volcarona. You have the double Iron Bash, nothing in the world. Beautiful. I'm gonna double switch to Armaldo on the Heat Ran. Or do I wanna double switch to Buzzwool? What's the best thing to do against Heat Ran? Maybe a Rack Winded, but that just brings in Ferthorn again. If I go to Armaldo, it's not super threatening. I'm gonna just do our Maldo and, and knock off, honestly. They stay in. I'm disturbed. That, you know, I, I gotta admit, that is actually a thing. When you double switch on an opponent, even if it's a bad play, they do often stay in. I've noticed that before. I'll do the same thing again. They should be swapping now. If they stay in, you got me. Great. Uh, we'll knock off here. If they're offensive, we could take a lot from a. We, we spec ourselves to outspeed, it's worth noting. Okay, we get you again. We'll go back to you. I would love to have gotten rocks up, honestly, just for this heat rain coming in. It's the thing I can't force heat rain to ever stay in. Volcorn can swap, can force a million swaps to heat ramp, but I can't force the heat ramp to stay in at all. Um, yeah, a little bit churlish. I, I could have psychic honestly and broken that balloon, which would have been huge. I gotta sack someone now. Um, Oh, and they're balloons, so they're still not... Actually, we should still at speed. That's worth noting. That's frustrating. Okay, well, I'll sack a Raquanid. Again, you gotta play this matchup pretty perfectly, and I've definitely not done that so far. I'll go for a read. I'll go for the Earthquake here in the uh, Aegis Slash. If they stay in, they win. But I'm down a little bit bad, and I feel like I gotta make a big play here. We get it off. Uh, big damage. They're left over, so I don't think we'll see Shadow Sneak. Another big prediction, though. They do do it. Do we live? We do. That's awesome. And we have enough to come in one more time, which I love. We can actually... I'm going to save this guy for the end game now, because now there's a good chance we can get a win with close combat. Because we have just... Or is it 12.5 that rocks do? That's an important sequitur. Regardless, I'll keep it as a sack. Or should I? She don't know about that. No, we'll go do Armaldo. We brought it for this reason. Then I can knock off here... I think this heat run is going to be the death of me, though. Oh, it is faster. It's max speed. That's too bad. That's really too bad. Well, let's play for some crappy RNG and go for some paras because I think Buzzwell dies. I'm pretty sure there's 12.5 per rocks. So I need um, not that to happen. Boy, this move's been missing a lot for a move that's 90 something accurate. Are we have sped now. I think that's just a loss. Okay, crit, full para, please. That's gonna lot. Okay, still, that's that's pretty big. Rock two means Volcarona is no answer. Almost glad they revealed it, honestly. I think, you know, Sister's not doing anything else. So we actually still got a win here because no leftovers. Go to Ferrothorn, smart play there, very smart play. I'll go to Volcarona again. Hopefully they don't leech seed. I think I sack Buzzwell on the Leech Seed. Okay, did die. I was right about that. Great. I go to you. I got to beat the, the Heat Ran is what it comes down to. They stay in. Will I be able to 2 it KO the Heat Ran with Leech Seed? I can't. Switch again back. They stay in. They win. If I make one wrong plan all this, it, it, I lose. I'm predicting another uh, Ferrothorn swap in. We sell a Steela. I'll quiver dance on that. Do they air slash the leech seed? Please don't leech seed. Ah. Should protect. Can't get a single wrong move, gang. Oh boy. That's GG. Let's take a crit on the heat ran. If they're not protect and they get a crit on the heat ran, we're in it. But I flamethrower on the heat ran instead, so that's GG. I need like a a triple crit. <laughs> Maybe being stupid. Maybe I should give it one more try here. No, Celestia wins if I don't get this kill. Yeah. Oh my god, hold on. 29. I'm gonna look for a swap. No. I think that was a dumb move on their part, but oh well. GG. Tough matchup. Tough matchup. Uh, you know what? Let's call it there. Let's call it there. Let's let's stop. That was interesting. It was a good redemption tour. 
I think I think there's a very winnable game to end off on, which I'm I'm satisfied with. It's not like a frustrating one where just a random dual wing beat comes into nowhere and cooks me. What's even the likelihood of that? Stats, Smogon. What percent of scissors are running that in this metagame? Eh, maybe it's just common and I'm stupid. Move sets, uh, auto type, scissor. It's the fourth most common move. So I guess that was just dumb on my part last game. Fair enough. I mean, you can see the obvious appeal. Just destroys bug types. Destroys grass types. Is that destroys fighting types? Those aren't three matchups I care about as all on mono bug. I can understand running dual wing beat on a mono steel scissor for sure. For sure, I can understand that. Maybe that's the reason behind the high usage, but um, on mono bug. I don't care about fighting, really. That's an advantage matchup, in my opinion. Um, I certainly don't care about grass. I certainly don't care about mono bug because it's a, it's a it's a mirror at best. I'm not I'm not trying to win mirrors, so that's odd to me. I wonder if there's a justification for that that I'm missing. Um, anyways, weird tangent to end on. Hope you all enjoyed. The hat definitely did some good. We love to see it. I still can't believe that fairy one. That was so funny. But I'll catch you next time. Take it easy.